This is a mobile independent classroom in a container and it all runs on solar power. It's been designed by Samsung for use in remote rural areas with limited or no access to electricity and it can accommodate up to 24 learners. This is set up at the Pomolong High School in Tembisa, Johannesburg and is a fine example of how technology can advance education. And Samsung's Kia Modomoyeng is with me to tell us more. Kia, welcome. Thank you. Now it sounds like such a simple concept run by solar power in a container but there's a lot of technology behind this can you give me some insight yeah so this is a 12 meter long 40 foot shipping container that we've re-engineered to turn into a state-of-the-art classroom with 24 netbooks as you've noted an interactive whiteboard called the samsung e-board as well as a multifunctional printer an ip camera is also fitted the the logic behind the solar powered internet school is to promote ease of mobility because it's one of the critical aspects but secondly is to bring the much needed uh, technology and connectivity the integration of ICTs in education in rural or outflung areas. Now this is not your only uh, shall I call it e-school um, you've also run other and separate projects on the continent and we live on a continent with an abundance of solar power what happens when it's a rainy day? Yeah, so we've built in an autonomy of about three to five days to be able to conduct lessons when it's very dark or when it's raining continuously. So power gets stored into batteries, which then discharge the power as and when required. So on a good day like today, there's ample power that comes, it gets stored into batteries and then it prepares for the rainy days. Now Kia, what's the rationale for Samsung to get involved with this? Yeah, we, we understood that we cannot be in a situation where we produce smart technology for a consumer base that is not so smart, uh, for, for lack of a better expression. And as a result, we realized that we need to invest ahead of the curve, make sure that our communities are very much inclined with the future of technology. And the best way to introduce such is in a schooling, teaching and learning environment. And another issue is to try and bridge the digital divide. We know the Millennium Development Goals that we are all really tirelessly working towards meeting as corporates. Now you're talking about empowering the next generation of consumer. How is Samsung making technology more affordable for these students when they step off the school fields into the working world? Yeah, so when it comes to Africa as a market in particular, we, we introduced, you know, Built for Africa products. Because with Built for Africa products, we looked at the issue of the structural needs of the continent, you know, the humidity, for an example, the cost factor, what kind of quality enhancements do we need? So for us, it's a holistic offering, which is not only driven by cost, but by all also quality responding to how Africa really is and as a result even the technology used inside the solar powered internet school you know a specific solar powered netbooks which were meant for the African continent so this goes as part of our research and development endeavors. Now Pomolong is in Johannesburg in South Africa what are some of your initiatives on the rest of the continent? Yeah, So we've rolled out solar powered internet schools you know in close to 20 countries across the African con continent in, in Sewa which is the West African part of our our business as well as Sia which is the East African part of our business so we've really expanded uh, throughout the uh, African continent and now with digital villages where the solar powered internet school becomes part of a broader solution which then has healthcare, you know, has got other education offerings. We call it the digital village and we will be rolling that to 10 more African countries this year. What is the ultimate goal in terms of re um, rolling out these uh, digital villages and digital schools? Yeah, no, I, I, the, the, the aim is, is very basic. We want to impact, you know, about 5 million lives by 2015 in the African continent. It's a target which was very ambitious when we set it in 11, but we are really in the right path to achieving the target. Well, Kia, we look forward to Samsung's progress on the continent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, included in the Internet School is an interactive e-board. This modern alternative to the Blackboard turns the educator's workspace into a computer, allowing them to write with digital ink and save all of their work. Let's take a close look at how this revolutionary technology works.